Hello everyone, we're going to make a uh, LED pillar candle, or PVC candle. We all love these things, but it's a pain in the rear to take out the bat or take out the thing every night and turn it off, or when the battery dies you have to change the battery. So let's not do that anymore. Let's wire them up to a wall wart. Now these candles are 3 volts. And I bought these at the Dollar Tree for a dollar, obviously. They use a CR2032 3 volt battery. We we'll also need some some speaker wire. I use speaker wire. You can use any wire you want. I like speaker wire because it has a white side and a regular side so that I can tell which side is the positive and negative. I use the white side as the positive, the other is the negative. You need a wire cutter. A wire stripper, a little pry tool, soldering iron, a solder of course, a glue gun, some glue, and a wall wart. This one's a 3 volt 500 milliamp wall wart. That'll run quite a few of these little LED candles. This one's just uh, to show you. I buy these for about a dollar at the thrift stores. I just check where it says the output, and it's 3 volts DC output. That's what I want. And bump the camera. Alright, let me take my wire, and I'm going to use this thing here as a guideline. It's about 18 inches. It doesn't matter how long, but I always err on the side of too long. Cut the wire. And then I'm going to separate it, about an inch, inch or so, inch and a half, two inches. I'm going to snip the edges, or pull the coating off it with the wire snippers, I guess that's what they call it. Give them a twist so they're not frayed. Do it to the other end. twist them. Open my package of tea lights. Take one out. It's got a little thing to protect it from battery dying. I always test it. Yeah, this one works nice. Okay, now I'm going to remove the battery and save the battery for something else. Or who knows what. I might need it sometime. I'm going to pry it open. A little pry thing here. I'm also going to pull the... This is what the inside looks like. I'm pull this up so it'll pull out easy. Let's pry it open carefully. That came out. Sometimes it stays in. So this time it came out. Okay. Save this. I don't need this portion anymore. Alright, we got two ends here. I got a short end and I got a long end. The short end is the positive end. The long end is the negative end. That's important. I'm going to give these a 90 degree twist or bend here carefully. You don't want to break them off because they're really kind of thin wire. I'm going to take my white side of the speaker wire and wrap it around the short end since that's going to be my positive. A little twist there. Wrap it around there nice and tight, clean. Do it in the other side, the negative side. That's nice, isn't that nice? Put in my little clamp here. It's just an alligator clip. It's one of these fifth hand or whatever you call them. situated in there. Now the wires go down. Spread them out a little bit. Alright, now I'm going to take my soldering iron. Now you got to do this kind of quick, because if you don't do it quickly enough, you can uh, burn out the LED. 
which I did on the last tape. <laughs> I'm just gonna solder this guy in here. Do a little warm up here. Come on. There we go, just got started. I'll pull it so it uh, makes a good contact with the uh, the ends of the LED layer. So it won't slip off. Alright, that works. Let's go ahead and test it. Now this is a different wall wart, same thing though. I just have these hooked to alligator clips. This side's the positive, so I'm gonna hook to the positive. This is negative. Look, it's negative. Oh, isn't that cute? Alright, well, that works. Disconnect that. I'll use that in a minute. On the floor. I'm going to replace it inside the top part of the candle. Give it a little twist. I like it on the other side of this H looking thing here. Now I take my glue gun and I glue it in really good. Two things for this. Seriously. Let me go with my first take. <laughs> there we go. Glue it in good. I give it a generous amount of glue. The reason I do is it uh, sort of protects protects the LED from the elements, hopefully. Maybe not. I pretend it does. Let that dry a little bit. I'm going to put it in my PVC candle. Hook it back up. Connect it again. Now I'll never have to change batteries. If the power goes out, well, that's another thing. But in the meantime, nice looking candle. I like to clump these together and wire a whole bunch of them together. It makes a nice little display. <laughs> 